Howdy y'all, I'm Around the Wheel. You're watching Jazz Jackrabbit's 30th Anniversary Special Edition 4K playthrough. We do not need rapid fire. We've done pretty good. We already got the secret level out of the way after taking two attempts to find it. But okay, so this is a bit of a change of pace. After, after Marble Zone, they sent us to Beige Zone. Though every, every level is at least very unique. I think every level is memorable to some degree. I don't, that is one cool thing about Jazz Jackrabbit. I don't think it has forgettable levels. Every level is gonna be memorable on some level. And like even this aesthetic, it's, you know, brown is not really a color that you saw a lot in the 90s. I think there are arguments for and against brown. Brown seems like a dull, boring color, but it has its time in its place, just like any other color. So, okay. This song also has a very weird level. Speaking of things that are beige, or this level has a very weird song. I do tend to mix up my words like that. That's the curse of having to talk while you're playing a video game. Okay, I think that would put me in a big old loop if I went out that way. I'd end up falling and having to do all this shenaniganry over again. This, uh, those bats are very annoying as I recall. Yeah, I think, I think the way with this level is to do it as quickly as you can. To get your Gravis gamepad, hook it up, and play the game with a controller, as God and Cliff Blazinski intended. Okay, so what's, what's up the way? Yeah, there's this long held note in this song, it's very weird. Very, very kind of annoying to listen to sometimes. Ooh, some Big Bouncy. We like Big Bouncy shoes. Can we get up there? Is it the shoes? Oh, hey, no, that's that's not good though. An enemy just like in the middle of the air. That's what you love seeing. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna try that again. I'm gonna bounce. We're gonna hold. Yeah, we're gonna hold hard for like what? 75 launcher bullets. Okay whatever and i almost just popped right onto him again okay he actually is visible from a reasonable standpoint okay so let's move on move on into the left yeah he, one of those that has a weird like wavy like hard to get in a straight shot at it type of thing oh hey so i can jump over this i feel like i'm making a huge mistake here well not as big a backtrack as it could be. Hey, cool. A secret passage, and it drops me right onto spikes. You don't say. This is another one of those levels where Roundy is... Roundy is getting lost. Uh, okay. I don't remember the levels... I remember this being a pretty linear game, but there have been more than a couple times I've gotten just... Flat out, do not remember where I'm going. Yeah, those bats, those, those bats come in real hot, and I remember not being a fan of that. Okay, can I get up in there? Yeah, there we go. Oh yeah, I've got a higher, a bit of a higher jump. That will last for this level at least. Okay, let's go in here. A boing, a boing, a boing. Seems like I could have maybe made my way out a little faster, but I think right is generally the direction I want to go here. Okay, yeah. Come in. Yeah, that, those bats have a weird flight pattern. We're getting to a part of the game where enemies have very bizarre trajectories, very weird flight patterns designed to just throw you off. Yeah, please, please take me to the bottom of the level. I think that's actually where I need to be. Yeah, this is a very wide open level compared to some in the Jazz Pantheon. There we go. Feeling good. I'm feeling good about life. I can, okay, uh, yeah, let's go around. Let's go around and let's get the things we need to get. This is also a level where slugs like to fall on top of your head. So I hope for my sake that everything spawns correctly around here. I don't think I actually need any more rapid fire. They give a ton of rapid fire in this episode. And the maximum speed that rapid fire, if you get 10, you're pretty much maxed out on rapid fire speed. Okay, you go up through here, what then? Yeah, okay, yeah. I guess I could drop in from there if I wanted. 
Like, yeah, wow, like there's rapid fire for days around here. It is crazy. Okay. Hey, they stored a bird way up here. How'd they get? Oh, oh, that's a big rip off. See, now you're now you're making foreground things happen. <laughs> okay, that was a little convenient. That was that was actually kind of amusing. Okay, don't overlap me onto the others, please. Okay, yeah. Okay, let's get out of here at super speed. All the controllers are mine. You never know when these things are gonna break down. You know how they make things these days, very shoddily. So the more controllers we have, the more backup controllers we have, the better. Okay, now I'm moving extremely fast with no invincibility, which is kind of not the way you want to do that. Oh, hey, hi, secret passage. I'll take it. A lot of secret passages just lead like to circular parts of the level. There aren't many dead ends here in old sluggy on. Slugion? Sludgeon? I don't know how to say it. Sludgeon sounds pretty good. It rhymes with bludgeon. Which is what I'm doing to enemies with my rapid fire. I'm sludgeoning. I'm sludgeoning the blugs. Okay. Oh, hey, hi. Another secret passage. See, it pays to not go in guns blazing at the exit, but I don't know if we're going to get up there and get to that. I don't think I have enough shoe power to do that. Only 47% of the enemies. We are really, we are really slacking here. Okay. This might be one where I have a hard time finding the bonus stage. I don't know. I don't know if I remember that one that well. Why is it so hard to jump out of this hole? Okay. Maybe if I just jumped the, yeah. It's much easier to jump outward to a ledge than do the getting over it thing. Okay. All right. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh-huh, very good, very good, Well, It is nice to have launchers, but most of the enemies in this stage, I find, attack you from above. So, launchers don't really do a lot of good there. If the enemies were below me, that'd be one story, but can I get... This seems like it should be a secret passage, and it seems like a major ripoff to me that it's not. Okay, nothing going to attack me, so it is safe to jump from here. Well, I thought it was, but okay. All right, there we go. Launcher time, baby. Launch me up into the sky. Launch me up into a slug without me knowing about it. Or Okay, okay, all right. That looks nice. There we go. That looks even nicer. Let's scroll back to Pea Shooter. Okay. Good lord. They must think you're going to die or something in this episode because, oh, hey, there we go. Grab a carrot. I think there might have even been another secret passage there if I had been willing to investigate. Yeah, there we go. Kill the bat way ahead of time. Not kill the wabbit. Kill the bat, please. Kill the bat. Kill the dragon that didn't spawn in the white place. Let's go down. Yeah, see? One just about popped on top of my head there. They'll do it. They'll do it. They don't care. They have no compunction about that sort of thing. What's Oh, hey. Hey, hi. There you go. How do we get in? How do we get in underneath to that thing? I feel like I should be reaching a carrot sometime soon. I feel like the game has, has done enough, you know, things popping on top of my head without warning me. Or just launching into my face like those freaking bats. I remember hearing that phrase on Batman the Animated Series. It's the freaking bats! And it's like, whoa, you can say freaking in prime time. That's crazy. Oh, hey, hi, here we go. Okay, this gives me some time to experiment, I do believe. I think it might be... Aha! There we go. Um, okay. Can I, can I do something now? Can I... There we go. I think I have to get in underneath to get to the to get to the bonus box, bonus gym. It is technically a box, it's four-sided. Okay, so come in and then, is there any kind of invisible, how do you do? Aha, there it is. Okay, I knew there was some kind of, okay. I thought I saw a slug crawling along with the baby turtles. Slugs and baby turtles, friends. And any friend of a turtle is an enemy of mine. That's how it goes in the 40th century. Rabbits and turtles still fighting like cats and dogs. I do like, I do think it's cute that it's like a, 
a modern take on that Aesop tale. Did I get a 1-up? Did it just say 1-up? Well, maybe it did, maybe it didn't. But we have plenty of extra lives as is. Whoa, hey, okay. Yeah, I'm getting so skittish that I'm afraid of turtles at this point. Okay, this is probably a bad place to stand in case uh, something falls on me. That is the one overriding memory I have of this world, is slugs falling on my head from above. They'll do it, they don't care. You gotta look up, you gotta look to your right, you gotta look to all sides. Okay, I think I might have killed a bat there, depending on on how that positioning went. Gotta say, I'm not a fan of riding over spikes either. We're only halfway through this accursed level. Oh my gosh. Oh no. That makes me feel like I need to get my get my little booty in gear. It also makes me afraid for. Oh hey, okay. Yes, I need that over there. Put me put me in that position, please. Uh, can I get out of here at this point? Uh, I feel a little stuck. There we go. I think I blew it up. Yeah, I kind of figured that was going to happen. Okay. That is... Ooh, that's scary. I'm doing all this for a carrot. I'm doing all this basically to tread water. And I've only got a few seconds left on the clock. Okay. Uh... Uh... That does not fill me with confidence. I will tell you that. Okay. I thought the carrot, where where did the carrot go? I could have sworn I saw one. Oh, it's up in the, it's up in the black area. Okay. All right. Uh, uh, there we go. Okay. Woo. Yeah, I am, even on medium, I am a lot more invested in making sure my health is on point than normal. Okay, we need to get out of here. We only have but two minutes to beat this level and we only just reached a checkpoint. So you might see me doing some reckless things. Not that you don't see that all the time anyway. Okay, that spring is there for no discernible reason. Okay. Gotta wait for the thing to come back now. There we go. <gasps> Oh, can't can't ride it all the way across. That's that's lovely. I don't feel good about our survival chances now. Okay, can I just avoid the spike ride altogether? It wasn't necessary to begin with. Fantastic. You love to see it. And by love, I mean hate. Okay. Slugs die. Bats especially die. If a bat comes through the wall at me right now, I'm going to be ultra pissed okay make sure i'm not dropping onto anyone or doing anything we are not disturbing anyone's ecosystem are we maybe the slug but i don't really care about the slug i'll be quite honest with you okay no secret passages to know about current oh that was a slug mixed in with those turtles how about that okay but it's not spawning now so I guess I'm just gonna go up and over and it blended in with the thing. So I don't think I get the bonus stage if I didn't survive. That's, that's lovely. That's why they give you all that rapid fire. That is, I think maybe, and now we've got slugs falling on our heads. That's yeah, it all kind of piles up real fast in this level. And now I have to actually touch the space bar every time I want to fire. Man, things get real inconvenient real fast. And yeah, I'm just at a point of like not caring now. Boy, you get you get stuck here. It's curtains for sure. If you think I'm taking a shoe in these circumstances, you got another think coming. I always hated that it was actually... Oh, I was right at the end of the level, too, wasn't I? Oh, no, that looked like an ending of some kind. Well, maybe this is the end of the level. I feel like I'm rolling up on it. Okay, there's definitely something secretive up in here. I like what I'm seeing there. Yeah, it's... Okay, there we go. 
I thought I had to like go around it. Okay, just some ammunition. Well, clearly I'm gonna need it because I don't have very much at all now. This is a big secret area, but yeah, we reached the end of the level. We were pretty much close to the end anyway, but I don't think, well, it takes away everything else. So it would take away, wow, that's a cruel joke. Just give, yeah, give me all the, can I make it up there? Maybe if I had springy shoes, but I don't. Well, it takes away everything else when you die, so it makes sense that it would take away the bonus level, right? I guess we'll find out. If you don't see a bonus level after this, I'll see you tomorrow.